Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to start my this. My first slide is about one of my favorite sci-fi authors, uh, Douglas Adams, and uh, he had written something which sort of sums up everything about virtual reality. I'll just read this out. The fact that all of this was happening in virtual space made no difference. Being virtually killed by a virtual laser in a virtual space is just as effective as real thing because you are as dead as you think you are. Now, this is something which was written way back in 1992. Um, Douglas Adam, apart from a sci-fi author, obviously he was also a professor and uh, it's, he was way ahead of his time and he's the author of the famous book Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy, uh, which continues to be my favorite. Uh, what is virtual reality? Virtual reality is the reality now and that is something which is happening. Um, especially Indians probably might understand it a bit more because we do believe everything is an illusion and uh, Matrix, the movie, summed it up pretty well that we are actually living in a reality or we are actually living in a reality. So the question of what is virtual reality is pretty much a reality any which way in a spiritual way, but we are not going to get in that. Um, simply stated, virtual reality is a technology that replicates real environments or completely creates an imaginary landscape around you. It is something which is controlled by the users who are in the virtual reality they can, uh, they can pretty much move around the virtual reality. Uh, they pretty much feel as if they're living in it. It's sort of a dream. Um, unlike augmented reality, which is something which I wanted to touch upon because it had Iron Man aspects in it, where you can replicate the real world through, uh, you can replicate the digital world over real world. And that would have been a very cool presentation. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. Um, okay, so this is the various ways in which we are, uh, we are in virtual reality. Displays are used. We use it on regular projectors, computers, and headsets. Um, the first time I saw a headset like this was in a movie called uh, Disclosure, um, in which Michael Douglas is living, is, is they've created something called Digicom or something, and they are in a, in a virtual world, and he is, he's wearing this mask, uh, rather this headset, and he's, browsing through files and uh, this is again a movie from 90s and the book is obviously written in 80s by Michael Crichton. That was the first time I realized that virtual reality can be used in so many ways. Maybe we are looking at a situation where we will not have offices. We are just going to be sitting in a room and we can browse through our files, we can talk to people and I think technologies like Meta 2 and everything are anyways doing that. Um, this is Oculus Rift, the two uh, products This is uh, something called the ocular rift, um, and the first one is how it looks from outside, and there's a little um, thing which you can see how virtual world is going to look through this. It has numerous uses. It has use in practically everything. So from media to fiction to anything that you can think of, virtual reality has a use. So we, have, we are already using smartphones. We are using a lot of these things. It is there everywhere now. Uh, my personal favorite are the offices and the excise areas. Hello, hello. Mic testing, testing. Anyway. So how's the future of VR? Well, it's very bright. And as per uh, Goldman Sachs uh, studies, it's going to out-monetize TV overnight. Um, there are about $80 billion sales which are projected around VR, which means a lot of work for IP attorneys, which means a lot of business for our clients. It's going to be good times. Uh, revenues from both v uh, VR hardware and softwares are projected over $5.2 billion in 2018 itself. So um, number of um, VR users, which would be people like you and me, are going to go over 171 million. As of today, 43 million people in the world are using VR headsets. Most of it are, is gaming-based uh, uh, headsets, but it is changing um, because a lot of defense people and a lot of educational institutes have started using virtual reality. Um, Right now you have some gaming uh, 
headsets such as Oculus Rift and uh, PlayStation and uh, HTC's Vive. Um, the bigger issue probably around from a business perspective is how do you establish VR as a mainstream technology? How do you make it something as simple, something like having a TV in your own house or a PC which should be there in your own house? Um, right now, Oculus Rift is costing about 80,000 odd uh, Indian rupees, which is pretty expensive. There are only 14.13 million computers which were powerful enough to run something like a virtual reality. So it is something less than 1% one, 1 of 1.43 billion computers in the world. So it has a lot of catching up to do. Um, again, the price for these high-end computers is quite high. So